Namaste everyone and welcome to Data Millennials. Hey everyone, welcome back to our Google Data Studio series. In this video, I am going to show you how you can create a pie chart in Google Data Studio. So let's go to our Google Data Studio first. So what we need to do is that we need to create a pie chart. Before creating a pie chart, we should know that what exactly a pie chart is and when we can use a pie chart for our dashboards. Working with pie chart in Google Data Studio displays your data in a circular visualization which basically select the slices of the pie and it represents your data series. The size of these slices are proportional to the quantity or relative value of the metric which you are trying to plot in your graph. In general when we say pie chart it is one of the most useful when we are comparing a few data points with relatively large differences in proportion between the values. So pie charts displays large number of series with minor variation in the data and can be confusing to viewers of the chart. That's why most of the times we are not using pie chart in our dashboards. But at few instances pie chart is very useful and it basically shows the differences between a selected few data points only. So let's go and create a pie chart and what we'll do is that we have to create a pie chart for the transactions which we are using in our data. So we have the transactional data here I will show you. So we have this gender within our transaction data. Okay. Now what we need to do is that we need to figure out what gender specifically is higher in transaction whether male or female are transacting more right so what we can do is that we can create a simple pie chart and in order to create a simple pie chart what we need to do first is that we need to go to add a chart option okay then you need to click on this add a chart option and you will see on the fourth option you will see this pie so we have two type of charts under this pie first one is pie chart and second is donut chart so we'll be using pie chart in this video in our next video i'll show you how you can use donut chart so we'll click on this pie chart and you will have this option you just need to drag it anywhere on your canvas just click on it and you will see by default it will take a particular dimension and it will show you the values here in percentage so our initial question was which gender has most transaction so currently when we created this pie chart by default it took the city and it gives the bifurcation of city by its percentage right so it's good enough but it doesn't answer our question so what we can do is that we can go to dimension and click on it click on the city so by default it had taken city if I click on it then I have to type gender which is my dimension if I click on it you will see that by default it will take gender here once I click on it it will automatically detect the percentage and everything and it will show us on our pie chart right so you can resize it based on your requirement now what I want to do is that it's taking the record count but I don't want the record count so what I need to do is that I need to get the transaction amount. Okay. So I'll take amount and by default the amount will get into sum. So if I want to change the matrices, I can change it to average, count, count, distinct, minimum, maximum, median, standard deviation and variation. So currently if I take sum, it will be the same 45% of 45% for male and 54% of female if I take even average then you will see that the number doesn't show us a lot of difference right the sum and the average because we have only two dimension here male and female okay so we'll take sum and then if I see this pie chart okay if I click on view and if I see this pie chart, this pie chart is giving us a bottom line that there 
are 54% of female and 49 sorry 45.9 percent of male which are present in our transaction data so based on our pie chart we can answer that there are more female which are which has more transactions right now if i go to edit and if i want to enhance the style of this pie chart okay before going to a style let's go and see what all we have options with this pie chart now if you want to sort the data you can sort it using your matrices okay either in ascending or descending order if i click on ascending you will see that first on your right side you will see male and on your left side you will see female but initially when we had descending you have right you have male on your left side and female on your right side now if you have a date range value which you want to use or if you want to if you want to specify this pie chart for a specific data range date range then you can click on this custom okay and based on this custom you need to select the dates so it's upon you whether you want to select a particular date or a week or fortnight or three month or six month you can select it here and based on your selection of data dates the data will be reflected for this pie chart so i'll click on cancel here now if you want to add a filter for example i want to add filter only for the country india so currently this pie chart is showing me the data points for every transaction now if i have to filter it out only for india what i can do is that i can go on this add filter option and then click on this add a filter okay now what i need to do is that I need to create a new filter and I'll put it as country I will put the name as country India filter okay now it's asking me whether I want to include or exclude something I just want to include India so what I'll do is that on this select a field I'll select this country okay so all the so all the transactions is in country only in our data you will see that country is india but i want the customer of sorry country of customer should be india so what i need to do is that i need to select country of customer and then i'll select equal to you can see here this is india right so i'll select i'll input it as india and then I'll click on save you will see that the data will get refreshed automatically earlier it was 49 point sorry uh, so if I undo it I'll see that there was 45.9 percent within our whole data there was male and if I apply the filter I have redo it I can see that male percentage is 44.5 percent and female is 55.5 percent okay now the next thing that I want to show you for this pie chart is this styling so if I click on this pie chart and then go to style you have a number of options here the first option is pie chart slices how many slices do you want by default Google data studio will select 10 slices if you want so suppose if I instead of taking uh, this gender if I took city okay currently if I take city here you won't be able to see the entire city percentage it will take the top 10 here basically so this top 10 is based on the percentage bifurcation now if I go to style by default it's taking 10 only because we had we had here 10 slices which is a by default option in google data studio if i want to change it then i have to click on this small drop down and i can select up till 20 slide 20 slices right so now suppose if i just want to show top 15 
city I I will select this 15 slices and you will see that your pie chart will has been bifurcated or it's showing data for 15 slices now if you want to change color you can change it as per your requirement so if I select as this single color the entire pie chart will have a single color from very light contrast till very high contrast and it will of will it will be of the same color and if you want to change the color of this then you have to select click on this uh, color option here if you click on this small box you will see that there are colors and suppose if I want to select it as red I can select it right if you want to change the color based on the slice order you can select this second option slice order it will automatically change the color for every of the slices and now earlier you have selected 15 slices right so you can see that there are 15 color options here so by default we have 20 slices option here and you will see there are 20 options 20 options for you to choose the colors so we have selected 15 slices and we can see that we can choose the color for these 15 slices here but for the next five we won't be able to choose it okay if you want to increase the size of the center of this then what you need you can do is that you can drag this button and you will see it will basically change into a donut graph but this is this was not our purpose our purpose was to create a pie chart so we'll keep it as the minimum okay now for labels what you can do is that you can change the slice font so for example if i use this the font will be changed for this values and if i want to change the font size i can also change it from here so with 44 pixel it get disappeared let's take 14 pixel or let's take 20 pixel so one of the things that i want to tell you in this video is that when so when you select the size of the label you need to make sure is that you are selecting the size for where you can see all the labels okay now currently i've selected 8 pixel and you can see that it's barely visible but if i select 11 or 12 pixel i won't be able to see the numbers for these four slices right so what i'll do is that i'll select auto it's better to select auto so that whichever is the best possible option google data studio will provide us now the next thing is background and border if you want to change the background of this bar chart you can click on this uh, you can go to this background and border and then click on this background button and you can select a particular color for example if i select black the entire thing will be black okay now i have selected black so i have to change my text color also right so before that you will see that there is an option for border color so let's select the border color for white okay and let's select it as a 5 add a border shadow if you want to add shadow for the border now for legends you have multiple options whether you want these legends either on right side at the bottom of the chart or at the top of the chart or if you don't want the legends to be shown then you can click on this button okay all the legends will be disappeared if you want it on the right side you can click on this button if you want it at the bottom of the pie chart you can see it but let me let me change the background color to to something else so that we can we can see the legends right or oh, let's change it to white now if i want my legends to be on right side i can click on this and you will be able to see all of the legends now if i select on bottom you will you won't be able to see the entire legends in a single go but if i click on view you will see that you can you have this option to click on this small right arrow and you will see the next other legends so by default google data studio will select the best option for you within a style you will see that our legend style was 
at the right reason being is that with this right option by selecting this right option for showing legend google data studio was able to show us the entire list of legends now the next thing is chart header if you want to show the chart header then you can use this option and the chart header text font so basically this is how we create a pie chart and in our next video i'll show you how we can create a donut chart hey if you find this video insightful then do check out other videos and hit the like and subscribe button